Do you want to know how to make a graph in Access? Hi, this is Crystal. I'll show you. I recently posted a video showing you how to programmatically manipulate a chart using VBA. Somebody asked me, how do you actually create this chart? I didn't show you that, so now I'll show you that. I've got a query. The trick is first make a query. You know a chart needs two things. It needs something on the x-axis, which is called the category axis, and something on the y-axis. So here I have dates and I have values. And maybe I have some other criteria. I'll just put criteria in here and not do anything with it. And if I look at my data, I see you know, I have about 18 records and I'd like to graph those. So I will close this. And this is called QGraph. I'm just changing it. Now I'm going to make a graph based on this query. So the first thing I need to do is just create a blank form. And now I'll go into the design view of the form. On the design ribbon, you'll see this chart. So I'll click on the chart and then just click in the upper left corner and up comes the wizard. Now I've just done this so it's on queries. Normally it starts out on tables. There's the query I want to use. Go to the next dialog box, move both of the fields onto the fields for the chart. And next, and now comes the style. I'll just stick with the default. Next. And this actually uh, can be changed. It's easier, I think, just to change the row source than it is to change it here. So we'll leave it here. Now it's the chart title. Whatever you want your chart title to be. This is not the name of the form. This is just the title inside this chart control. It comes over with this silly sample data, even though we told it, you know, hey, here's our data. Well, the trick is you just have to look at it. First, I'll save this form. This is a form, so I'll call this my new graph. Look at the form view, and now it renders the data. We'll go back to the design view, and now it shows our data more the way we expect. Now I'm going to uh, double click on this design ribbon to collapse it and I'll make this chart a little bigger and I'll make my form bigger. So I've just stretched it out. Now this isn't the data I want. I, you know, let's say I didn't want to sum it by month like that. So what can we do to change this? We can go to the row source of this chart and we can just change it to be whatever we want it to be. So here we see it's formatting the date as a month and a year when really maybe I wanted them by days. I, I mean, I, I had what I wanted. I had what I wanted right here. So I don't need this grouping. On the design ribbon, I'm going to take the totals off and <laughs> I'm just going to pick these two things that I already lined up on my query. I go to the data sheet view and there's the data I want. I save it and now I'll also save this form. I'll look at the form view. There's the data the way I wanted it. There are some changes we can make. Now let's go back to the design view. If you double click on the chart object you can change what's in here. Let's say I don't want this legend. I'm just going to click on it, press the delete key, the chart adjusts. Now if I decided I wanted the legend back, I could go to chart options. Here is where I can change the chart title. I can change the title of the category axis and the value axis, neither of which have titles right now. They're just labeled with values. But here's legend and it's a checkbox whether or not you want it to show and if you do want it to show where do you want it to show so I'll just do an OK here now I don't like these at an angle like this and they're also big so I'm going to right click on these labels here and go to format the axis and on the alignment I'm going to put them vertically on the font yeah it doesn't need to be 21 points. We'll bump that down to about 10. Probably doesn't need to be bold either. We can go regular with it. So now we see a lot more of the data points labeled. 
I'm impressed now with the category axis because as you can see from the data, there are no values between 316 and 330, yet 330 is not right next to 316 as the old category axis would have put it. Now we see the time range being shown. Now if we were to delete this row of data, we can't do it here. Let's say we only want things before 330. Where would we do that? We do that in the row source. So coming back to the row source, here's where we can say less than 330, 14. And if we save that, now we see the data ends at 316, and we don't have all those empty tick marks going to 330. We can change the chart type as well. Once you are in the form design view, double click on the chart object and remember the right click button. If you're familiar with charts in Excel, these work very much the same way. So right click, we can go to chart type and here's the choices. The wizard gave us a few of these choices. Now we have more choices. And I'll just pick the default line chart. This is a line chart with markers displayed at each value. So now I've got a line chart. Just as we formatted dates to be smaller, we can right click on the value axis and choose format axis from the shortcut menu. On the font, we made that other one 10. We'll go 12 with this one and we'll just go regular with it again. So now our numbers are more in line with each other. Our dates are still smaller, but that's because they're so big. Now we could make the dates take less space. So if I right click and go to the format axis here and go to number, and go to custom, instead of showing all four digits of the year, we could just show two. And now our dates are taking less space. So now I will close this form, save changes, and there we have it, my new graph. Now you can build graphs. If you want to programmatically manipulate your graphs, you can download my example graph menu and form. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we will all get better.